This video will illustrate how to log images from the inspector. We already have a very simple application in place with an object locator. So that's a fail, that's a pass. The first aspect of recording images is you can record live images. So simply click on record live images, go and create a folder of your choice and I'm gonna call this test and start saving it and on the screen as you can see that live images are being recorded if I stop recording we can go and look at that particular folder test and we start seeing all these uh, images available for us and again these are live images that are recorded no results are taken into account so you can now load this into the emulator if you desire this is a good mechanism for capturing a lot of images from the line so that you can then go ahead and uh, tweak your application or program your application offline the other aspect of logging images is under the logged images tab by default the inspector will save in its flash 30 images for you and you decide what these 30 images are under the log settings so the, at, at this point in time we are only logging failed images but we could as well say we want to log all images for that matter and now if I go you will notice that my logged images is a combination of some pass as well as some fail but it's first in first out so we can log up to 30 images on the flash and then you can save this log again uh, we will uh, select another folder test 2 And now when we go and refer to the log settings under the test2 folder we notice that we have log images without graphics so these ones we can load them in the emulator and verify what happened with them how the application worked on them or we can refer to the log images with graphics and you see that now the inspection tools graphics are overlaid so we can see for instance uh, this one was fail or uh, this one was pass we also have a log report uh, which can uh, display the same information in a different uh, format we will uh, go ahead and open that up with the web browser and uh, now we are able to see the same information uh, with details as far as what passed what failed and some other data along with that the third way of uh, logging images is uh, sending images to an FTP server. For that, uh, you do need to have an FTP server established on a PC side. For the purposes of this exercise, I have uh, downloaded a freeware from the website. It's called uh, FileZilla. Once you download it, the only uh, area you need to make some changes is under the users. You need uh, to add a user and establish uh, what username you want for that that's the username I will select and OK onto that if you want a password you can select one I'm gonna go without any password for this exercise and then you need to define a folder where you want to save these images to so I have already created a folder under my C drive that I'm calling Inspector FTP. Once you're done with these two parameters, you can specify uh, what permissions you want to assign and OK to that. The server is already set up now, so then the next thing is to configure this on the inspector 
under the store images to FTP we need to define what sort of images do you want to save again whether you want to save all or just failed and you need to define what's the IP address of the PC or the server where you're sending the images to in this case the IP address of my PC is ten one hundred nine one twenty five my username is uh, Parmasa and I really don't have a password I can test my connection and that looks okay finally in this field I can create a subdirectory as far as where I want uh, the images to be stored so I will call that test 3 apply and OK onto that and immediately you start seeing this button over here at the bottom of the screen so the difference between this one and recording live images is that inspections are being done and at the same time the images are being sent over and saved on the FTP server so you're logging images and you're doing the inspections at the same time as well I can run my application press this button over here which starts saving images to the FTP and uh, if I pause that you see that button being unhighlighted so I can go and look at my FTP folder there is my FTP folder and there is my subdirectory that I created test 3 and in there I see all these uh, images that have been saved over the FTP server. This illustrates uh, the different approaches of how many ways there are available to log images from the inspector. Thank you for your attention.